Project number 17. This is going to be a really fun piece. This piece here I found out in the Las Vegas desert, about an hour and a half outside of the city of Las Vegas on BLM land, in an area where I'm finding all kinds of extinct fossilized coral, petrified wood, just, just specimens from hundreds of millions of years ago. This piece was found in a similar area, and I'm just not too sure what the piece is called, what it is, but I figured once I really get it polished to a glassy, glossy shine, it'll bring out a lot more of the pattern and be a little easier to tell what it is. But for you guys that have a little more knowledge than me, check this out. All the different patterns, lines in there. Most of them form circles. So I don't know if this was a type of coral or sedimentary rock or what. But we are going to start off with a medium grit steel diamond disc. This is going to remove all the bigger chunks and sharp edges so we can get more down to a smoother surface so that it really just doesn't eat up my diamond pads. I'm going to spin off the Velcro soft diamond pad holder and this is so that when you're using your soft diamond pads and you're applying pressure on the quarter it has some give it has some flex to help you get around some of the nice smooth round areas but for starters today we're using the get off me we're going to use the medium grit steel diamond disc and then when we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and bounce to the eight soft diamond pads, starting with the 50 grit, to the 100, 200, 4, 8, 15, 3,000, and 6,000 diamond pads. The last two steps is mainly to get the really high glossy shine that we're looking for. A lot of people will end at 1,500, maybe even 3,000, but we're taking it to the 6,000, and that just really does the trick to get that high gloss that we're looking for. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna go ahead and start off on 1500 RPMs with the steel diamond disc. When we get more into the polishing pads, I would say like 800 grit and up, we bump it up to about 2000 to 2200 RPMs. So let's get started on lapidary project number 17. That's the medium grit steel diamond disc. Let's move on to the polishing pads. This is looking awesome so far. I can't wait till she's done. All right, so far this is what we have. About halfway through. She's all dried off, but look at her so far, and this is nothing compared to what the final finished product is going to look like. Very, very cool. See all the colors, all the lines, all the patterns in there. It's just going to be outstanding. So, so far, we started off with the medium grit steel diamond disc. 
And then after that, we went ahead and switched to the 50. We went through the 100, the 200, 400, and currently we have the 800 grit diamond disc on there. And then left, after we do the 800 next, um, we have the 1500, and these are all soft, pliable Velcro backing diamond pads. Then we have the 3000 grit, and then we have the final 6000 grit. So we have four steps left to go, and you see it already starting to get a little bit of a, a shine to it, but not a high gloss shine is what we're looking for. So four more steps. This piece is so big, I'm doing the complete thing. So each step is taking about 45 minutes or so. Um, the better shine, the higher gloss, the more time we need to put into it. So let's get started on the next step. Lapidary project number 17. All right, finally done with the 800 grit diamond pad. One more step closer to being done. Just a little more, a little bit more of a gloss to it. A little bit more of a sheen. So the the 50 grit through the 800 grit steps are pretty much the steps that's gonna get out all the the bigger scratches, the micro scratches. Give us a, a smooth surface to work with. The last three steps I consider my more crucial for the high gloss, which is going to be the 1500 grit, the 3000 and the 6000 grit diamond pads, which I consider to be the shine, the ultra high shine and the ultra high gloss, which is the 6000. I'm going to increase the RPM to about 2300 RPM and the time I'm going to bump up to about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes on each of the last three steps giving us about three and a half to four hours left on this piece. I have her name all picked out. Perfect name for this piece. I'm sure you'll agree, and I'll tell you what that is here in just a minute. Let's continue with lapidary project number 17. The next step, 1500. Let's continue. Finally done. That's nine steps. So we had the steel grinding disc. And then steps 50 through 6,000, which was the 50, 100, 200, 400, 800, 1,500, 3,000, and the 6,000 grit. Let's get this piece dried off and see just how shiny she is now. Awesome. All right, let's dry her off. All right, let's dry her off. Finally done. I started her about five weekends ago. Uh, you know, just between personal business and weather, just getting a, a few hours in here and there. Nine steps, about 10 hours total of polishing with my Makita wet grinder, diamond pads, and this piece here is lapidary project number 17. I've been wanting to do this piece for some time now. I'll show you the before and after here in just a second. But check out how beautiful this piece turned out to be. And I'll tell you what I named her. The name fits her perfectly. Yeah, I'm sure you'll agree. But check her out. Just beautiful, all the different colors. I mean, she took a better shine than I thought she would. She was a very porous piece, um, but now she's just got a high, glassy, glossy shine, as you can tell. Very amazing piece. I'm gonna display it like that, sitting just like that. Or on its side like that. But I call her Jelly Bean. Lapidary Project number 17. 
very very cool guys thank you very much for watching if you haven't subscribed please subscribe like my videos comment below let me know what you think of my lapidary projects I could take some criticism you know very very cool piece amazing lapidary project number 17 jelly bean